Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Soul Thumb. How about that? Today we're going to be unboxing the thing that you saw in the thumbnail, which was uh, the um, Capcom edition of the Super Pocket. Um, we have the Taito one, which we'll put right here. Taito! And this is the Capcom one. It's got 12 built in Capcom games. Um, the newer version of the Evercade, um, I think it's the Evercade EXBR. <laughs> that one does not have the built-in Capcom stuff. So those are going away from most of those things. Here's the side of the box, by the way. Actually, let's move these out here so it'll it'll focus a bit. Okay. Focus, focus, there we go. There's a side. Side. It says two on the side there because the original one said like one. Yeah. Here's the back of those. That's the bottom of that. There's all of that. There's the top of that. And let's see what's on here. It's got a Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting Mega Man 1, 1942, Final Fight 1943, Strider, Wolf of the Battlefields Mercs, Bionic Commando, Captain Commando, Ghouls and Ghosts, Forgotten Worlds, 1944, The Loop Master. Now, I would have gone with Mega Man 2 instead of Mega Man 1. Because I feel like 2 is the more refined one. Mega Man 1 is pretty difficult, but yeah. Beating it though, but yeah. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Okay, let's do this thing. There it is. Boop. Okay. Just gotta like, make these precision, uh, ooh yeah. There we go. We don't even need to deal with anything else, do we? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and open this up and check out what's in the box. Okay. Now we don't need an advertisement for more Evercade carts. Actually, the Team 17 one, Data East, some of these ones, yeah, the Z64 stuff seems kind of neat. They, uh... <laughs> There's some pretty neat ones that are coming out, like that Duke Nukem Volume 1, which has like the, um, oh yeah, here's the little things on it. You have the uh, charging, charged, power on, uh, Evercade compatible, game, etc. All the stuff that you need. And of course it's USB-C, which is great. Let's see what else is in here. Boof. Okay. Anything in here? Oh, here we go. A USB C cable. Although I've got pretty much everything comes with USB C cables these days. So, don't really need that. But yeah. Here it is. Here it is compared to the previous one. Yep. And uh, yeah, here's the front. Here's the side, 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 the bottom. Let's go ahead and open that up. Those types of things. Of course, this is where you would put a uh, Evercade cartridge if you have one. We're going to be weird here for a moment. Yup. That's pretty funny. Oh yeah, it wants me to set that up. English, normal mode. And we're going to accept the EULA. Kind of wish there were different. Um, ooh, okay, so we got Street Fighter, Strider, etc., etc., etc. Let's hold this down and yeah, you know, and get to the settings. Go to display one original aspect ratio, of course. Let's go sound. That's that. Good, good. There's an advocate advertisement, and then Capcom. Hmm. Let me turn both of these on. I think they both have the same background music, to be perfectly honest. Which is a little disappointing, to be honest. Okay, then.
Yay, Kadash, Bubble Bobble. Between these, you got a bunch of different stuff. Lots of different ROMs and things for these. But the big ones, honestly, let's actually turn this one off real quick. Oop. Yeah, let's do Ghouls and Ghosts. Because that's, it's not the NES one, I think it's the arcade one. Yep. Or is it? It look yeah. Oops. Let's quit out of that. Ooh, final fight. But yeah, there's a good amount of stuff in here. A lot of good uh, side scrolling shooters, and uh, of course, the big one on there is Street Fighter. And let's check these buttons in the back. There's your RLs, etc. Hmm, right. Ah! Okay. Hmm. No! Okay. But yeah. That's the Capcom one. Um, we have we mentioned the title one before, and when the XP EXPR comes out, we'll check out that one as well. Oh, volume is over here if you want to turn it down a bit. Pretty good. Honestly, I think these are pretty good. Um, I do want to pick up some other Evercade so at some point. Specifically, there is the Evercade EXPR coming out with Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 as a giga cart and of course whatever they else they decide to put in it but generally I think these are pretty good products they um, they have pretty good battery life they they're pretty hardy and they're pretty pocket friendly so like yeah um, they're not like perfect because um, like to be honest um, there's so many handhelds these days. There's so many. There's the PC handhelds like the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally, um, the Lenovo Go. Um, let's see, what else? There's a bunch. Um, or what is that other one? Oh, the MSI Claw. <laughs> we don't really discuss the MSI Claw. Um, that'll eventually be something good, but not right now. There's also stuff like the PlayStation Portal. There's the G Cloud um, from Logitech. There is a ton of stuff from like Pal Kitty and uh, oh Retro Retro Bit <laughs> and uh, you know like the medium like stuff like that. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can pick up and play handhelds on these days. The Nintendo Switch, Nintendo 3DS is uh, has um, had a little bit of a resurgence because you can literally take like an old 2DS or 3DS or 3DS XL or new 3DS or new 3DS XL and put custom firmware on it really easily these days. It's ridiculous. Um, if you're me, you're carrying around your Switch, mostly. Unless you're carrying around one of these, but uh, that's for a whole other video. Yeah, whole other video. But yeah, I... Uh, for the price that these put out, they can be anywhere from, um, I think you can get them as cheap as like 30 or 40 bucks and as expensive as like 60. But honestly, not bad. If you're a fan of like Capcom or Taito in particular and you like these little styles for this, I would pick it up. This makes me think of like Hatsune Miku for some reason. But this one, this is like the, uh, this one's pretty good too. Like these are just great, I think. I think they're neat little devices, and um, I've had some fun with these. Put in a couple, um, couple hours playing with each of them. Well, not with the Capcom one. Just got that here, but the Taito one, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, Bubble Bobble's good. It's a, uh, it is what it is. And honestly, I do like the idea of Evercade doing this. It's good for like preservation sake. But yeah, that's the uh, Capcom edition 
um, Evercade, what do they call this thing again? The uh, Super Pocket. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It's worth it to pick it up, to throw it in your bag, and just take with you if you need a little bit of a Street Fighter or Ghouls and Ghosts or a Strider in your life. And we all need a little bit more Strider in our lives. Ooh, Final Fight. I like Final Fight. It's good. I think this is the arcade one, so you can pick Guy. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's Guy, Cody, and Hagar. You have the all three like you're supposed to. But, yeah, looks pretty good. You hit this, you have all sorts of neat little display options, like um, original ratio, pixel perfect, and then subtle or strong scan lines, if you want to put scan lines in there for some reason. Uh, they work pretty well and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that is that is pretty great. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think and hit that thumbs up, share button, subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.